Listen, y'all, there's more ways to be involved in the things that we love without delusion or fall. Don't be hard-headed just so you can start wasting time using rap as a default job. I saw a whack-ass film that still costs at least five mil. Actors on the press run pretending that it ain't trash. Just tell me that you did it for a bag. And to take an hour and a half of a human being's life instead of elevate your craft. It's cool, I really understand, especially when the credits roll, I look at all the staff that get to feed they fan. I become more of an empath. Like, yeah, it was garbage, and I am disappointed, but I'm happy a PA can pay their rent with this employment. But let me get off the set and set the stage for the subject in a way more digestible to average appetites. Stop cheapening the quality of art, that'd be nice. Some souls can't be owned and will never have a price. It's so relatable when Damon Wayans was slapping white in his imagination from anger that he had inside. And technically, you're right to treat Kamala as a prize, but the first Negro vice president was slappy white, blessed with a sense of humor to handle tragic times. What's red all over but still black and white? Not a newspaper bloodshed for civil rights to make a crappy life fly? You might catch a flight, but those without that benefit might have to make a sacrifice to get what it is they want, a piece of the aggro crack. That's if you got the guts. Cause life ain't always fair when you're just on the come up with hope and despair connected like a pair of nunchucks. <laughs> 